efforts to eradicate child and forced labor and its supply chain, the human rights risks that permeate throughout Tesla's value chain when not adequately addressed harm shareholder value and undermine Tesla's ability to lead the just transition. Growing attention and concern have been placed on child labor in cobalt mining in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, as well as on forced labor in China's Xinjiang region. 70% of the world's cobalt needed for EV batteries are sourced in the DRC. Over 40,000 children work in artisanal and small-scale mining, often without protective equipment and in dangerous spaces that frequently collapse. Many children are seriously injured or killed in the mining process. In Tesla's latest sustainability report, it claims to have audited 80% of the miners and refiners in their cobalt supply chain against responsible production standards. However, there are many industry-backed standards, some of which are weak, and it isn't clear what percentage of audits were conducted by which initiatives. It is also unclear how the company's due diligence ensures cobalt source from child labor is not intermingled in the industrial cobalt supply chain. Subsequently, an estimated 1.8 million people have been subject to state-imposed genocide, detention and internment camps, and forced labor in the Xinjiang Uyghur region. A recent study concluded that automakers cannot conduct meaningful audits in this region. The recent Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act in the United States Senate inquiry into Tesla's supply chain highlights the regulatory risk Tesla faces. We believe a third party audit would provide greater transparency into how Tesla plans to eradicate child and forced labor from its supply chain. One of Tesla's competitive advantages is its sustainable leadership. Tesla, its board of directors and management team have a moral obligation to pursue ethical sourcing practices that do not rely on the lives of children or enslaved people. Tesla can continue to make a true leadership difference that forges a sustainable economic future that is anchored by innovation, empathy, human development, and shareholder value. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wicks. We will now accept votes for, against, or to abstain for this proposal, but again, only for record holders or legal proxy holders. Please note, this is the final opportunity to submit proxies in order for them to be counted. I declare the polls are now closed. Based on 